Wow. But it's a lucky thing I had my pieces. Your, your pieces? My guns. Oh. Right. Anyway, I started blasting. Bam! Wow. Bam! <laughs> uh, okay, this is where the juggles go crazy. <laughs> hey, buddy, watch this. Yeah. Daryl actually could be pretty sweet with the sort of uh, pirate cycle strategy. Maybe we want to force pirates this game. It's hard to force pirates because everybody's playing pirates. It may cost us a loss, but it may not be so bad. By the way, guys, we still have 350 viewers despite playing Battlegrounds. That's awesome. That's used to it would have been a pretty insane amount of viewers, and um, we're playing a non-typical game mode here, and you guys are still hanging out. That's That's great. The most powerful late game pirate buffer seem pretty attack RNG dependent, which you don't want in a late game build. Yeah, I think the idea. Now I, you know, I don't know this for sure. Did this man just not play anything? Okay, cool, great. That's awesome. That's very important for Pyramid to get off to fast starts. So the fact that he got off to a slow start really helps the lobby a lot. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. What was I talking about? Oh, 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 pirates. I think the idea with pirates is that if you can accelerate hard enough, uh, lobbies will just be much faster and like you can start hitting people harder sooner and in the game before people really have time to get to those late game builds that would answer you, right? Killing the guy who's going for Murlocs. He's never going to get to... Oh, I forgot to look at the tribes again. What are we missing? Um, no mechs again. Okay, no mechs again. That's actually bad for Finley. I keep forgetting to look, man. It's not a good tactic. I need to pay attention. But um, it's new. Forgive me. Forgive me. So yeah, basically pirates are like an aggro strategy. That's that's a great way to put it. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go double arcane cannon here 100%. I'm not going to buy them both right now. That's actually a good minion for later as well. I'm not going to buy them right now, but this is a pretty awesome uh, support package for Finley, right? Like... Well, not for Finley, but I mean, just, it's just good. Like, the, the, for pirates and for arcane cannon support, this is pretty much perfect. This is sort of a bad, I mean, this attacking immediately is good, but this can get sniped, right? Like, there's some, some issues here, basically. It's going to work out, see, but. Okay, I thought, I thought they said attack immediately. Maybe there was nothing to attack, so it, it lost its... Nice work. Yeah, oh my god! What? Um... <clears throat> okay. Uh... How do I want to do this? Is this the right way to do this? <laughs> I don't know, man. The sick arcade cannon game, though. Jeez. But I'm not sure. Do we? So we still attack first, right? Like, even though this pass. Okay, yes, confirmed. Like this passed its attack, but we still got to attack first. So it does, it does move the attack over to the next unit. We can now confirm that for sure. Can now confirm that for sure. Move the four fighter to the front. The problem is this gives me two straight attacks, right? So this being at the front means I get the two pings before these have a chance to die defensively. So if I'd moved the four fighter to the front, I would have only gotten one attack and one cannon. Maybe you mean the front and the middle, but still, this theoretically gives me four straight attacks. Uh, I think we are okay to, to triple this. I could imagine there's an argument not to, to be honest, but I think we're okay. Menagerie Magician's not honestly terrible for us. Siegebreaker's a little bit bigger still. <clears throat> um, I don't know, though. This is 8-8 eight, eight in total stats. It's actually bigger at the moment, but I, I just don't really want to commit into the steward is the problem. Bolvar's a little bit more likely to be sticky when it comes to attack order, but I think the Siegebreaker's just the best. The best splash unit right now. Yeah, I don't know. There's not a mech, so what am I really Everyone's selling into? Pirate, maybe? I don't know, we've not really played a traditional Finley game so far. I guess it hasn't been too, too far off yet, but... Oh man, the uh, Rip Snarl Captain. Okay. Sniped that, but it's kind of too late for it to matter. But man, this thing is going crazy. I love it, I love it. I love it. Why not dance on it? What, the, the cannon? 
I don't know if it helps. It, it kind of does because it's like a defensive unit, but it also kind of doesn't. It's not attacking, right? So it's, its attack is less likely to take a valuable proactive trade as opposed to sort of a defensive trade. Uh, so depending on taunts and stuff, it gets less good. I think we can probably dance on this Imprisoner. I don't see an issue there. We're, it's actually really good with the Arcane Cannon, so um, that's fine. Terrible buff roll there. To get some minions in Jeez. We're going to hang tight, though. Keep a little bit of the support. I'm not going to overcommit the dance. Because I don't really know if we're sticking to this plan long term. I still kind of want to push more pirate action, but... Um, I think between this having taunt and the token, it's in the right spot, but debatably not. Debatably not. Everyone's gunning for you. Watch I don't really out. know. This arcane cannon positioning, I feel like you need a physics degree to, to really understand exactly what you want out of it. Oh man, that's gonna get really big. Wow. No, we sniped one. Okay, that's good news. Oh my god, we sniped it again! Although it still got buffed, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god, this cannon, dude. This cannon is just melting opponent, opponent's boards. Good God. He, look at this, dude. Oh, my goodness. We're just destroying this guy. Just destroying this guy. Nice work, Absolutely Roxanne. murdering Keep him. Up the pressure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tier 4, we have um, Cave Hydra to dance on. Tier 3, we do still have the Dragon to dance on, but... I don't know if it's something I want to dance on, though. I mean, there's just less good dance targets, though. You know? It's hard to say for sure what you like. I mean, this is actually a pretty good dance target, too, I guess. I'm gonna lock here, since we buffed all these. I think we'll actually dance on that Glyph Guardian, or whatever it's called. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Maybe we keep the Dragon Package, too. Hmm. Is this enough? Good hits. Cannon, dude. Just melting everything. I love it so much. Golden Cannon is actually OP. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't know if it's going to scale uh, super well into the late game, but it's giving me such a ridiculous early game advantage that it may not really matter. Uh, Poison War Leader is something we could actually probably keep into the late game. Um, we may not care too much about its its life in that case. All right, let's. Uh, I think we're gonna end up keeping these as well. I feel like I kind of have to keep this scallywag, but it, it's not gonna stay good forever, right? It's only dealing eight extra damage, so there's gonna come a point where it's just not worth it. Macaw plus pirate and cannon is OP. Yeah, maybe, but we gotta start scaling, right? I'm, I'm thinking we've honestly almost already held on too long to some of this stuff. This is a pretty unfortunate. I don't really want a 6-6 six, six taunt baby on board there. I think we gotta ditch this finally. I think it's time to go. Do we keep the Poisonous War Leader? We're getting to the stage of the game where Poisonous is becoming pretty relevant. It has that risk of getting sniped like so many things do. But I think we're okay. We're not doing any like crazy big pushes on the... Um, we're not doing any crazy big pushes right now on the on the Daryls because I'm still not really locked into a final composition. Uh, we have like a menagerie sort of lined up, um, but we're not really doing anything except really out aggroing our opponents. I need to find like a golden or a tier five or something to really start defining this build because right now we're doing almost nothing. We're, we're, we're winning, which is great. Don't get me wrong, we're winning. Hopefully this hits the rat pack on the... Um, Macaw buff here. Oh, the macaw just died. Never mind. <laughs> oh no, it didn't. No, this is a positioning shift. It did hit the rat. That's perfect. We just murdered this guy sequencing wise. Just completely murdered him. I, I don't think he's in a terrible position despite that, but we just murdered him. Oh, uh, we didn't snipe that macaw. That sucks. Could have dealt extra damage there. But still, just fine. The Arcane Cannon is just decimating boards. <laughs> I don't know if we're even going to be able to shift this in anything significant. Oh, here we go. This is a little bit of a build coming together, right? Suddenly. Uh, other people going demons is... Uh, we got the 
We got the uh, dude here. We could dance on the juggler to make it pretty big. Then I'm just juggling the crap out of everybody, aren't I? Oh, that sounds delightful. Oh my goodness. We're just going to juggle the crap out of everybody. <laughs> um, am I ditching this war leader, I guess, in that case? I don't know. It's still not terrible, right? It's not, like, terrible. Um, ultimate juggles, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Another satisfied customer. I Another think it's a little worse than the 11-11 right now, shockingly enough. I think we want to make sure we're juggling sufficiently. And and this is just stacking really hard. And it's already pretty big stat line. Like, 11-11 is enough to kill most stuff in this in this stage of the game, right? Okay. Minion's not something we're investing. Oh, no! Our nemesis! <laughs> no! Our nemesis! The other golden arcade cannon. And he sniped my cannon, but I still have this juggles. Is that enough? Can we get there? I don't know, man. We have big minions, too, which is nice. Can we hit that one more time, please? Bronze Wardens in the cannons are crazy good. Am I okay? I'm okay. Oh my god. <laughs> of course the two guys in first and second are just running arcade cannons. Oh, man. So I just started shooting, you guys. Like, just started blasting. Oh my god. This guy has been losing to people who aren't that strong. You beat the ghost, but who cares about that? I think we're okay to tear up here. Five is a little bit scary. Malganus is definitely awesome. We can ditch the Mathrazine for Malganus, right? I mean, at some stage, this Cliff Guardian is going to be worse than other options as well. We got to figure out when that stage comes, but for now, I think it's okay. Second Siege Breaker, wouldn't mind tripling into an it mama on six, I guess. Can we hit a buff that matters on the scale vein, by the way? <laughs> so far, we've hit buffs that are totally irrelevant. Why has this got three extra? Let's get one extra attack for that one. Stay on top. All right, still haven't actually lost a fight yet, but I think we're going too soon. I, I don't think we've scaled so hard that we're going to win like this forever, right? Uh, although this dude could really make mincemeat of these boards with the pings if he can hit the right stuff because there's a lot of tokens. Although we were kind of already running out of attacks, sadly. Everything's dying defensively, stop! <laughs> Look at all the juggles! Oh my god, that was a terrible attack. Uh, we tie. Oh my god, we tie when he's at two health, that sucks. So many juggles. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, yeah, let's just roll here. Any of these things do anything? I don't think so, right? I need to be careful, though, because I haven't been watching that closely. I mean, this is pretty cool next to the Arcane Cannon. I, I think at this stage of the game, it's too small, so it's not really, but it's at least worth thinking about a little bit, right? Double opportunity there, but not good enough, I suspect. Second juggler is amazing. I think at this stage maybe that means we oh i just i just goofed then perhaps although i may want to roll we're not really juggling as much right now this is really the juggling game we have the soul juggler we have the daryl juggles we have the arcane cannon juggles never occurred to me how much juggling we're actually doing soul juggler it's not really notably better right now he's on beasts actually this is not usually as good against beasts Man, that's sort of a sick minion. I, I wish I'd, I'd done this in the right order. I unfortunately did not do this in the right order, though. We'll take you okay. down. This could be buffed, right? Basically, is the distinction here. All right. Um, Let's see. I think I think I think, I think juggles are really good against beasts because you can snipe mama bears, you can snipe um, little stuff, right? Um, you can snipe Baron Rivendares, all these things. Goldrins hanging out in the middle of the fight for whatever reason. <laughs> guess because you got the McCall. You need that in the middle, huh? We need to snipe some stuff. This, is, Although, I don't know. I guess, like, the Goldrin scaling is not even that big necessarily anymore. But still. I mean, I don't know. Well, it's not that big. <laughs> uh, okay, this is where the juggles go crazy. <laughs> we just murdered him. Oh, 
this is so funny. The ultimate juggles, dude. Alright. I don't even think I've played this composition particularly well, but we're figuring it out. <laughs> we, we, we've sorted it out. Uh, this actually is pretty solid. I, I could honestly tear up because we're fighting a, a really weak ghost. But I don't think the tier up has more value than the rolls right now. I, I don't think the Atlamas are better or, the, or we've got triple outs. You know, we've, we've got stuff that we can do with our rolls. So going to tier six doesn't seem that valuable when we can kind of just like do this anyway, right? We've got a gigantic dude. Um, tide rate. These are all just useless to us. This is all just gold right now. I, I mean, there is like a weird world where we could try to pivot on Eliza or something, but why? We I think we'd end up being always worse, right? End up being worse every time. Prisoner is actually pretty solid. We could um, try to juggle this a little bit. Okay, well, that's the one thing I didn't want to happen. King boss is okay, but probably not good enough at this you stage. Got this. Okay. Ahead. We juggled it a little. It worked out. I mean, got off, so. Oh, he's actually not that weak. Oh, man. This is scarier than I thought. Oh, gosh. I'm a little nervous. If this dies to the cave hydra in particular. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might have taken this one for granted a little. That helped a ton. But still, that... Um, Oh, that helped a lot. That 17 attack doesn't get to run into our bigger minions now. This is still a pretty big 12 attack, though. I don't have... Oh, that's... Th oh, okay, that did it. That's it. All right. Woo! Thank God. That was closer than I thought. Man, he was, like, not that weak. And and by the way, congrats to this pyramid. He AFK'd his first turn. We saw him AFK his first turn. He made it to top three despite that. Go pyramid, dude. Go pyramid. Oh, he died. So we're down to the final two. We got Kenny here. God knows what Kenny's about. More Siege Breakers. I don't really need more Siege Breakers. I really want to hit triple opportunities and that Soul Juggler in particular. So we just played B, so Mirazans is not going to have a lot of value for us. Void Lord certainly has a lot of value for us, though. Okay. <laughs> Build your own beast board. Good God. Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, we can we can chain a crystal lever as well if we want, but I gotta commit to selling something. I guess that imprisoner is probably the biggest sell. I think Malganus has a lot of upside with the Void Lord, so it's a little bit of a shame again that we're not cycling into anything, but or, or juggling into anything, I should say. Oh man. Um, you know what? Let's hang tight, right? Let's. Uh, we're, we're actually good to chill here. We can we can juggle this a little bit, and um, we can triple it, and we'll be fine. A little bit of a weird thing. Uh, sometimes you might minion on turn one, but don't play it because you plan to buff some other minion on turn Let's two. If you're lucky, you your free roll gets that top. other really good minion on turn two. Oh, maybe that's what he did. Yeah, that, that's perhaps it. Maybe he wasn't AFK. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God this is the snipe. Oh, that's right. He's the other Arcane Cannon guy. Oh, no, I forgot. It's juggle v. juggle, man. Juggle v. juggle. Okay, maybe ish. No, probably not, actually. This is really big. I don't think we are okay. Man. We can be, though. We're gonna get there next turn, I think. I think we're gonna get there next turn. I really need to triple out that Soul Juggler, too, to make it bigger so that he doesn't snipe it. We could try to leave something behind, of course, but. Uh, Alright, we're buying everything. This would be the best thing. Well, it doesn't matter. We're, something's going to get some wasted buff somewhere along the way, right? So it's all good. Uh, what am I actually selling? That didn't occur to me until just now that I have to sell something to pull off this chain. Um, am I selling the Malganus, of all things? I think so. Arguably, Siege Breaker is a little worse, but I really like the Taunt. I didn't expect to be doing this. This feels a little wrong, to be honest, but it is what it is. I think I want Yeah, I would like to buff the Void Lord, but not yet. I gotta go. Good god, I'm out of more time than I thought. It's 
It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. Yikes, that's not what I was looking for. Better hire a recruit while you can. I can't remember his board positioning. I don't know if the, my accent is right. It's probably definitely not right because I blew up the cannon, but. I think he had one big minion. Oh, it has. Oh, please, God, hit the gold grubber. Oh, please, God. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I didn't protect against that, really. Um, those were good attacks, though. Oh, that's really nice. Do I have enough? Without the Melganus, these are notably. We well, they're not weaker because they didn't have them before, but they're not especially powerful, I should say. Okay, this gets to attack there. It's still not enough, though, right? This is just gonna be. Oh, it actually is enough! Oh, no, it's not. Um, it's a tie, exactly. What? I really need to triple these soul jugglers so badly, man. Like, really, really need to triple the soul jugglers so badly. I think that's my only path out of this, right? That's not worth enough. I really, really need to triple the soul jugglers. Uh, uh, is this better than the Myxna? Probably not. Although we just risk hitting that divine shield minion, which sucks so much. God, soul jugglers, where are you? Oh, the final roll! Let's freaking go! Oh my god, Imp Mama 2? You're kidding me, okay. Um, this is such a 50-50 at the beginning of the fight. It sucks so much. I hate how that's a 50-50. I don't know if that's something I can abide. I I'm gonna lock that Battlemaster. I don't actually know if that's any good, because I don't think we can ever really buff it. We're more token than big. And I don't think that's even going to help trade into his stuff all that much. It's such a 50-50 whether or not I win right now. Oh! Oh! I, and we... Oh my god. Well, that was just the brand. I thought that was our team cannon at first. I got excited. Oh, we didn't pop that shield, though. and just ate my giant dude. That sucks. Still getting some good chains, but we're really feeding his imp mama a lot right now. This is just a juggle off, dude. It's just a straight up juggle off. Who can win the juggle chains? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Okay, we sniped his juggle. That's good. Somehow this dude doesn't have any of his own soul jugglers. I think we look locked up here. Finally. We have so many juggles. Okay, we don't kill him, though. We don't kill him, though. God. If I ever lose a 50-50 on that opener, we're going to lose, right? Like, how do I ensure that that 50-50 works? I can stick a token in the front. Like, I can stick something garbage in the front, right? Like, I can stick a Void Lord in the front. But then I lose a little bit of upside. And I take the risk that this doesn't connect. It, it, well, I don't know. Get a ghoul so that it's guaranteed. I, I do actually like the idea of the ghoul with the Imp Mama. That makes some sense, honestly. That's not a crazy idea. To make sure that the Maxna connects. I mean, this sort of does the same thing because of all the juggles, so I'm okay with it being there. It's just not ideal, necessarily. I'd almost hate to give up a ghoul, or give this up for a ghoul, to be honest. Not like we had a choice there, anyway. You're way ahead. Uh, I, I think between all the juggles, putting the Void Lord there increases the odds that we hit connect on that Divine Shield. Oh my god, he put even more good minions in early. Um, uh, my ex hit that 3-3. It's probably the next best result, to be honest. We sniped his cannon early, that's really good news, but I still haven't- I STILL HAVEN'T POPPED THE DIVINE SHIELD! But I sniped anyway, okay. So we late- we technically wasted a little bit of damage, right? Kind of- um, that thing took some hits before the, the before the Maxna trade, but I think it's it's good enough, hopefully. Although I don't know, man. Is this thing? Oh, thank God that 28 needs to hit that 27. Oh, it can't. Oh crap. Oh crap. Um. Oh. Oh my God. Oh no! I lose my one health. What? Some fresh recruits for I, 
I don't know what this game is anymore, man. I should have teared up last last turn, I think. Increase my odds of finding stuff. Uh, is Imp Mama just distinctly better than Siege Breaker? I don't think so, because now the taunts actually matter a lot. He, he taunted another big thing, so I think I'm just going to move my axe into the front now. I think I'm just going to move my axe into the front. He had a few big taunted minions now, so the Divine Shield thing is, like, less important. Siege Breaker up front. The problem is if it runs into the Divine Shield, I just straight up lose, I think. I mean, it's sort of the same difference as the Max, but not really, because this takes nice defensive trades as well, right? So having it alive longer honestly helps in that regard. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, Vesely, it's not working today. Bob's buddy doesn't work yet. It's not been updated with new minions or anything yet. It's got to figure out how to calculate all that stuff, I think. Is this enough? The ultimate juggle build final. This may not be the final fight, but it's probably getting close. Hit this. Just, oh my God, he's putting that first. That's pretty smart. Can we snipe it? Snipe it! Oh, terrible attack. Oh, that might be it for this round. This might be it, boys and gals. I, I don't know if I can kill the gold over now. It's so big. It's going to take a mountain of work to kill that. I don't think we can. We had to get that poisonous to create a ton of value, and it's just not. Oh, I think that's that. that. Can we at least kill this? Thank God. I think I'm dead anyway, though, right? It's just too much health on board. I mean, too much damage or whatever. Looks like I'm dead. Man! No! The gold grubber, the t ultimate token game is lost, or jungle game is lost. Still, really fun game, though. Super sick game. And we're still climbing somehow. Step aside, be first!